Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, and if you are new, hit the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. But this video, it's different from all the videos I've posted on YouTube because I'm actually going to be doing a luxury handbag unboxing. This is actually my first luxury purse, so I wanted to do a whole unboxing and kind of go along the steps of purchasing my first designer handbag. As you can tell, I went with Saint Laurent. I can never put the French accent onto it even though I am a quarter French. Let's just pretend the French accent was on it. It just sounds so much more luxurious, but I cannot do that justice. So we're just gonna call it Saint Laurent. I just wanted to throw a quick disclaimer that I'm not trying to brag. If these kind of videos bother you, maybe click out now. But to be honest, I just kind of wanted to do this video honestly for fun because I watch so many of these videos low key. I've probably watched like so many different YouTubers unboxing and purse collection videos. I am a sucker for those. But also I kind of wanted to do it to give you guys a good review and hopefully this can be useful for you if you are looking into purchasing anything from Saint Laurent or purchasing your first designer bag. I know when I walked into YSL, I had in mind of getting a different purse than I ended up walking out with and it was due to many reasons. So I'll go through that. So I actually just have the bag with me right now. I have been keeping it in my room, not touching it. I told myself I'm not going to open it until I do it on camera and film and I finally have time to sit down right now and film. So it's been a little bit difficult for me, but here we are now. <laughs> Can I just say that as you guys know, this is my first designer purse and Walking into the stores are, are very intimidating, let me tell you. I am not someone that typically walks into these types of stores. I was a little intimidated, not gonna lie. I felt like I was honestly in the wrong store, <laughs> but it was honestly a nice experience. I had a really good sales associate. They were really nice in there. I just kind of felt out of place. Let's take the box out. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm too trash to hold this. <laughs> it just comes in their Saint Laurent box. I love this. Going to definitely keep this box. Definitely going to take very good care of my purse. Like I said, I really wanted to go into buying my first designer purse and having it for a lifetime because obviously designer purses are not cheap so you want to do your research you want to love it and you want to have something that you are going to be able to carry on throughout the generations not have a purse that's going to damage easily this is what it looks like it's just wrapped and then it just has their Saint Laurent sticker So it just comes in this dust bag, which is where I will be keeping the purse when I'm not using it. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I just went with the YSL envelope medium purse. This is typically the size I like to go for. And I really liked it because you could definitely wear this more casual, but you can totally dress this up as well. And I thought if I was gonna get a purse, I wanted to get a purse that I could wear for events and then also wear more casually. So this was the purse that did it for me. So as you can tell, I just got the black and I got the silver hardware. I was debating between the gold hardware and then the silver hardware and I tried both on and I just felt that the silver looked much better on me. I'm typically more of a silver girl than a gold girl, but I definitely liked both of them. And they also did have different colors. They had like a red, they had kind of like a blush pink pink color. They have all different types of colors, but you can never go wrong with getting the classic black. And since this is my first designer, I just wanted to stick to a staple. I wanted something that I could wear all the time that's going to go with everything. And I just felt the black and the silver went really, really well. So I'm going to take everything off and then I'll show you guys what the purse looks like. This is what the purse looks like without any of the wrapping on it. I think it is absolutely stunning. She's literally my child. I I love her. We love her. Yes. They came with a small, large, and a medium. I thought the medium size was perfect for me. The small was a little bit too small. It didn't fit much in it. It's definitely 
definitely more of a going out purse. It's not really an everyday purse, I would say. While the large was a little bit too big for me, I am petite, I'm five foot two, so I just felt like it looked really overwhelming on my body, and I just thought the medium went perfect. It does have a lot of room inside, personally for me. It really depends on preference, but it does fit quite a bit inside, and I just find it fits all my essentials, everything I need, and I'm typically not someone that carries a ton of stuff. If I was someone that carried a ton of stuff, I would probably go more for a tote bag, but that's just never been me. What I really like about the hardware on this purse is it's so shiny. Even the gold one, it was it's so sparkly. The YSL and also the chain, it's just very, very shiny and bright, which I personally really liked. I think it gives it a much more luxurious look to it. Another odd reason I absolutely love the envelope purse is you can wear it three different ways. So right now it kind of is just the shoulder purse. If you wanted to wear it with um, crossbody, you just have to pull the um, strap up and you can wear it just on your shoulder with the purse hanging down or you can wear it crossbody, which is probably what I'm gonna end up wearing it a lot. I know as a shoulder purse, I thought this would be really cute if you have like events or a fancy, something fancy then to put it on your shoulder will look really nice. But I just love how it gives you the different options and different ways to wear this. So it just has the silver chain and it has the leather strap for right where it sits on your shoulder. And it just says Saint Laurent on the strap. It has one pouch backing here, which I think will be really nice for your phone. It is definitely a little bit stiff. Just opened it, so I think over time it will like loosen up a little bit. On the inside, it just has one huge pocket and just a little pocket here, maybe for cards or some extra money or something that you wanna slip in there. It has a magnetic closure, which I really like. Another thing I like was looking at is I wanted to make sure that it was a magnetic closure and wasn't the YSL that was closing it. They do have some purses where the YSL is what closes the purse, but I just didn't really want to touch this as much. I wanted it to close magnetically without having to touch the emblem. The emblem? The logo. You guys know what I mean. I really love the quilting detail. I thought that looked so luxurious. You can get YSL purses that are plain black if you don't like the quilting, but that is the one thing that I really fell in love with this purse. I thought it looked absolutely stunning. It is definitely a more durable purse. The leather is very structured, so it's going to hold up over the years. You don't have to be so worried about abrasions, and it's also more water resistant. So if somehow someone spills something on you, you accidentally spill something, you don't have to freak out. You can just wipe it off. That is why I ended up going with the envelope purse and I am so happy I did. I'm obsessed with the look of it. It looks gorgeous on and I can't wait to style it because there's so many different ways that you can wear it and you can wear it with so many different outfits. When I first walked into the store, I actually had in mind to go with the college bag and maybe even the Lulu. I know that the college purse and then the envelope purse is one that a lot of people go back and forth between. So if you guys are wondering why I went with this one, I'll kind of give you guys a quick little rundown. The college purse has more of a softer leather to it. The leather is lambskin while this is the calfskin leather. Calfskin leather is a lot more durable than lambskin leather. So the college purses are a little bit less structured as well. They're more soft. So you definitely have to be a lot more careful with it because like I said the leather is a little bit less durable so it, you're more prone to scratch it or damage it and also this one here the leather is very durable and it also has coating so if you do drop something on it like water or coffee and that happens you don't have to freak out it wipes off really easily while if you were to drop a liquid onto your college bag or Lulu bag the leather is more going to soak that in. I did talk about that with the sales associate in the store and she really kind of went through it with me because I am someone that's a little bit klutzy and I just, I'm definitely going to take care of my purse but I don't want to feel like nervous every single time I wear it that I'm going to damage it very easily and this one is a lot more harder to scratch so if you're ner nervous about scratches and all that I would definitely go with this. The leather is more durable so therefore this purse is more are structured. The college purse is actually a lot more slouchier and over time it could not look as nice and as well it is more for a casual bag so not really dressing it up. It's definitely a more everyday casual bag. It is a more has more of a grungy look to it, vintage look 
to it so if that's something you guys like then definitely go for that but for me I definitely wanted a purse that I could dress up and also wear casual and I wanted something that's a little bit more durable because like I said I'm just really nervous about damaging it or doing anything like that so I wanted something that I'm not going to be nervous every single time I wear it and that's also going to hold and going to last me a long time and not just last for a few years or look good for a few years. I wanted a purse that's going to last me a lifetime and going to look good all the time. Being in the store and trying everything on and kind of talking about it, researching on my own and also watching kind of comparison videos on YouTube really helped me to uh, decide to end up going with this one and I'm really happy with the decision. This is definitely gonna be a classic that I can wear all the time. I wanted to find a staple that's not gonna be just on trend for a moment and then go off out of trend. So I definitely thought that this is going to be something that is timeless that I'm gonna, going to like over the years and it's never gonna go out of style. I know this is a different video from what I usually upload, but I hope you guys did enjoy this and I hope it was useful. If you guys wanna see how I end up styling this, you can always follow me on my Instagram. It's at NicolettaXOYT or you can send me a question over on there. I also do have a Poshmark closet and merch so I will also link that down below for you guys. But like I said, I will link this baby down below for you guys to go check it out. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do upload every single week. If you guys want to see any update videos on this purse or any other videos about designer purses or anything, just let me know in the comments down below. But on that note, I hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!